Hey guys, Leanna here, just making a quick impromptu video for National Suicide Prevention Day. Why? Because this is an issue that obviously comes up a lot in the video game community. And uh, I've written about a lot of mental health stuff in my career and um, done documentaries and articles and all that stuff, but I've never really specifically and explicitly talked about suicide and suicide prevention. And a lot of people are afraid to talk about suicide, and we shouldn't be afraid to talk about suicide, because I think that no matter what you say, it's not worse than leaving someone to their own devices. Now, does that mean there aren't wrong things to say? No, there's absolutely wrong things to say. You shouldn't tell someone to just get over it. You know, you shouldn't tell someone to snap out of it. You shouldn't say it's not that bad. Um, when someone is in distress like that, the best thing you can do is listen and ask questions. Um, because to me, that sends the message that um, y you actually care about this person as an individual and, and you're not sloughing them off and you're not telling them what to do. People are told what to do too much nowadays, especially online. Everyone's do this, do this, do this, do this, unsolicited advice up the wazoo. And for someone in a moment of despair or dealing with a serious mental health condition or a very traumatic point in their life, the isolation is what gets people a lot of the time. And can make such a huge difference to someone just to let them know that somebody gives a shit about them. And I know a lot of people are afraid to get involved because they don't want to say, you know, as I said, the wrong thing. But if this person is your friend, if you've talked to them about other things, and I, I know about online, people talk about some really personal stuff you don't have to go, are you suicidal? All you have to say is, are you okay? How are you doing? And be prepared to hear the answer, even if it's not sunny, joyous, happy, happy. Um, a lot of people shy away from bad stuff because everybody is trying to stay upbeat and everybody is trying to, you know, do the best they can. But the reality is that somebody else's struggle isn't about you. And you can make a huge difference in a person's life just by treating them like a human being. And that's really the bulk of what suicide prevention strategies are about. Reminding the person that there are people who care about them now and people who want them around as opposed to, you know, wouldn't care or would be better off without them. And it's surprisingly easy to do which is why every person who dies by suicide dies by a completely preventable tragedy. And every person that, that does it has something to live for. And I'm not, I'm not talking about, you know, medically assisted end of life stuff. I'm talking about, you know, the stuff that is just strictly, what have I got to live for anymore? And there's always something to live for. There's always that one person or, you know, that, that one group. And most people really don't know how much the people around them care about them. Because we don't say so, especially in gaming. We're all about being tough and, you know, uh, get good and, and all this fake sort of appropriated stuff from other tough guy cultures and I'm as guilty of it as as the next person but when it really comes down to it and somebody's having a bad time I can drop the bullshit and go are you okay and that's so important especially for guys who are not given cultural license to express feelings and they see all that mockery of my, my feels and all that stuff online it's not the same thing guys it's not the same thing the the mockery of that is all about stuff that isn't you know is is overblown or whatever if you're actually thinking about not being on this planet anymore that's serious and that matters and you have absolutely the right to have someone give a damn about that so please today and 
any day, really. This isn't something we should do just one day a year, but please check in on that person that you think might be having a tough time. And you don't have to talk to them about this. You can talk to them about anything. It's the contact that really matters. Um, and if you are thinking about suicide, please reach out either to a professional or to a friend. There's a lot more services um, than than you think out there. Hell, send me a tweet. I'd rather you sent me a tweet than, than suffered in silence alone. That's stupid. You're a human being. You're a human being and you matter. And it doesn't matter who you are out there. You're saying right now, Leanna, you don't know me. How the hell do you know? I know. Because you're a human being and every human life has inherent value. And there are ways of getting past those moments where no one in your life sees your value. There is hope. There is kindness in the world. So do something randomly kind for a stranger. You know, buy someone a coffee, get someone that thing they're looking for. It doesn't have to be financial. Just send somebody a cute animal picture. There's a guy on Twitter who sends me cute animal pictures just out of the blue. And I appreciate that. He sent me a very adorable baby seal the other day. And I really appreciate that. Why? Because it's cute. And I like it. And it makes my day brighter. And I don't need it. But I like it. This is what human beings should be doing for other human beings. And it's really that simple. It's really that simple. Tough times seem less tough when the people around you seem to give a shit. It means there's a point where you're going to stop falling. And that's all it is. Suicide is that decision people make when they think they're just going to fall forever and they can't take the falling anymore. They're, they're creating a bottom to that drop because they don't see the fall stopping. And, you know, if, if you can give them that, that stop, if you, can, if you can stop the fall even temporarily, isn't it worth trying? So that's my message today. Please be good to each other. You never know what that person on the end or on the other end of the computer is, is going through. And it's probably harder than you think it is. And in, in all these, you know, talks about privilege and talks about, you know, inequalities and all this stuff, there's real people with real lives who are suffering. And they're usually based on the statistics the very people that everybody says you know should have everything going for them so something in our messaging is bullshit and we need to get back to basics and and reach out and care about people no matter who they are or what they look like um and that doesn't seem that hard all it takes is a will to treat people like people all right guys thanks for watching be good to each other